come and enter our wonderful world of wellness. Hi folks, uh, it's Dr. Christine here and today I want to talk with you about uh, the topic of how to overcome emotional eating and heal with havening techniques. Because I talk about all mastering your mind, losing weight soulfully. And most of us uh, don't lose weight with diet and exercise alone. It doesn't stay off, it comes back. And the main reason is that we want to eat more, that we use the wrong diets, we don't, we can't stick to it. We stop and do and we go back to our comfort foods and we just can't let go to the attachment to certain foods that we know are bad for us, like candy, cake, um, salty food. So let's right go into the content for this week. It's how to overcome emotional eating with havening techniques. Now, this is just a very short video. I would love to do a masterclass about that. And if you're interested, please comment below with masterclass or yes or something that lets me know that you would like to watch it. So I'm sure to tag you when I actually put that in, 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 uh, in practice. Now, this is uh, about how to overcome emotional eating with havening techniques. And if you're tired of letting your emotions control your eating habit, and if you're turning for food for comfort or to cope with stress, it's time to take charge and break free. And I want to show you how, because I struggled a lot with it myself. And here's in the side, you, you can really see how I ballooned up because it's up to 200, uh, 325 pounds because I just couldn't stop emotional eating. Now, you may have not ever heard of havening techniques. So what is it? Now, the embedded video, I'm not playing it now. I show you how to do self-havening, which anybody can learn, anybody can do. And I teach it to you. I also do live events for an hour where I teach you what it is and why it is so powerful. A little bit more in detail. Today, I just wanted to let you know that havening techniques was developed by a renowned psychotherapist by twin brothers, actually, Drs. Ronald and Stephen Roden. And they both trained us. Yeah, they trained me. He's the founder of Havening Techniques, a wonderful man. And Stephen is a wonderful man, too, his twin brother. And that Havening Techniques offers a unique approach to addressing the underlying emotional triggers that lead to overeating. I will be talking much more about Havening, Havening Touch, Havening Techniques in the future because I'm a certified Havening Techniques practitioner now and I will soon be in about six or nine months a Havening Techniques trainer and be able to uh, help others become a certified Havening Techniques practitioner. Now, havening is a neurosensory method. That means it uses touch or another sensation, touch mostly, to produce a sensation in the brain, to change the brain for the better in a gentle way. And it actually works a little bit like EMDR and EFT. You might have heard of tapping or the eye movement and desensitization techniques. Those are both great. Just havening is even more gentle. And it's calming. I, I, I just love it. And when you see me do it on the video, you know why. It is combining gentle touch with specific hand movement and guided visualization. And it effectively can release negative emotions and reduce cravings. Now, you need to learn how to do it properly. And sometimes that requires working with a certified havening techniques practitioner like myself or participating in a group a uh, class that also involves havening, like the ones that I am uh, have upcoming and will be teaching. And I want to show you a little bit the science behind emotional eating and how it really affects our mental and physical well-being. So let's see what emotional eating really is. It is a common em emotional eating 
is a common phenomenon where we turn to food for comfort, stress relief, or as a way to numb our emotions. And it's often driven by our desire to find temporary relief or distraction from our negative feelings when we feel sad, anxious, lonely, bored, upset, angry. Sometimes ah, nothing will help but a chocolate bar, a piece of cake and um, ice cream, the, the whole tub will do, or a large amount of chips, or something like that, right? And it does provide short-term comfort. It does, because it has an effect on the nucleus accumbens in the brain. But emotional eating has bad effects on our mental and physical health in the long term. It gets us big, of course, and it makes us feel bad, guilty, right? Because emotional eating is very different from physical hunger, because it's not that we really need nourishment, for the body, but it's a psychological craving, or it's the act of just chewing and eating because it feels so good. And this behavior can lead to weight gain, of course, poor body image, because when you get big, more often than not, you don't feel well in your body, you hate yourself. I've talked to fellow people that were grossly overweight and they told me they don't even want to look in the mirror. They can't look in the mirror. They hate themselves so bad and their body. And that's sad and it can be changed. And it's a cycle of guilt and shame because when you're guilty, if you're ashamed, what do you do? You go to the fridge. The trusted friend is always there, the ice cream tub, right? It doesn't never leave you. It's very reliable. Now, of course, we all know that it has a bad impact on your physical health. It's not only the stress that leads to the eating that affects us negatively, but it's also that we get overweight, then we might get diabetes, heart disease, and even have a higher risk for cancer. And the guilt and shame that we have to eat like that, it is not healthy for our body image and we are even worse. And then sometimes we get depressed. We feel there's no way out. There's You are hopeless. I know how you feel. I was there. But you can break free. And havening technique can help a really large amount. It can be transformative. So I encourage you to try it. And uh, now, how can it actually work? What is it and how does it work? Our havening combines gentle touch, sometimes eye movements, and guided visualization. And it does help to release negative emotions and stress and anxiety that is stored in the brain's amygdala. And they harbor the fear response. All the emotions are in the brain's amygdala. Amygdala is from amygdala, means the almond-shaped nucleus in the limbic system. And this is a key area in emotional processing. And havening techniques... Just the act of gently rubbing your hands in about one second intervals, it can trigger the production, production of delta waves in the brain. Delta waves promote a deep state of relaxation, like in deep sleep, and it allows you to access and process stored emotions more effectively. So we can overcome emotional eating with havening techniques by releasing negative emotions, Havening techniques can effectively release negative emotions such as stress, anxiety, sadness, or anger, which are often the underlying drivers of emotional eating, right? Havening techniques can also reduce cravings by addressing the emotional triggers that are associated with specific food cravings. And havening can, the techniques can help to reduce the intensity and frequency of these cravings and make it much easier to make healthier food choices. And with havening, we can actually reprogram your mind, of course, with your consent and voluntarily. Havening techniques can help rewire the brain's neural pathways. It's proven that it does. It can create new association and new patterns of behavior. And that way you can develop healthier coping mechanisms, break free from emotional eating patterns and break bad habits. Now there's good science behind havening techniques, neuroscience, and we have we understand much more now than we did even 50 years ago about how memories are stored and processed in the brain. 
And havening technique is based on the premise that traumatic or distressing event, post-traumatic stress, they create neural pathways in the brain. And those pathways can be accessed and modified through specific sensory inputs. And you might have heard of psychologists that use EMDR to process those post-traumatic stress syndrome uh, associated memories. And if it's done well, it absolutely works. Same as havening techniques. I just like havening techniques better because instead of just moving the eyes, it involves much more gentle and kind touch. And it often works within one session. It's really powerful. Because when an individual experiences a traumatic or even just a distressing event, the amygdala, who are a part of the brain that are responsible for emotional processing, encodes and stores the associated emotion and sensation. And these stored memories can then be triggered by specific stimuli. And then you have an emotional or behavioral response. We call it flashback in individuals with PTSD. Now, havening techniques work by stimulating the amygdala through sensory inputs, such as touch, gentle movements, and guided visualization. And this stimulation, together with the other uh, things that we do in a havening technique session, they help to disrupt the encoding and retrieval of negative emotions associated with traumatic or distressing events, allowing for the release and reprocessing of these emotions. I see somebody ask, uh, how can I have a havening technique session? I'll put the link underneath and you can absolutely book one with me to try and see uh, if it works for you in any way, if you like it. Now, with research, we have shown that havening techniques can effectively reduce the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and phobias, which is sometimes really striking. And uh, when you apply that to emotional eating, and many women and many women that are overweight may remember or not remember that, that they have had traumatic events, sometimes sexual abuse, sometimes other traumatic events in their past that triggered their eating as a compensation mechanism. And some women know that the fat that they're building around on them is meant as an armor against the attractiveness that may attract men to abuse them again. So this is a very touchy, <laughs> a very difficult top topic for many, many women, very deep. And it has to be addressed with a lot of sensitivity and kindness because you can also make it worse if you approach that worse, that the wrong way. Now, how do you actually use havening techniques for emotional eating? Let me give you a step-by-step -step guide to using havening techniques for emotional eating that you can do yourself. I recommend watch the video first so you know the basic way how to uh, do havening techniques. I also have a little course called the Instant Calm Formula, where I actually show you on video the details on how to do it right and how to use deep breathing to even make that effect stronger and easy, accessible every day, wherever you are. Now, to use havening techniques effectively for emotional eating, follow this step-by-step -step approach. First, you identify emotional triggers. You need to know what triggers usually your emotional eating. It can be stress, loneliness, boredom, or even specific events or memories. We need to create a safe space. You need a quiet and comfortable space where you can practice it without distractions. Especially in the beginning, you need the quiet. And later on, it's easier when it's ingrained in your brain, you can calm yourself down and they show that in the instant calm formula, I can do it within a second. I have a, a trigger and that triggers my brain to be calm and anybody can learn it. It's a matter of knowing how to do it and then actually practicing it. So you can apply eye movements. Some people find it very helpful to do so, and that's fine. You need to learn the havening touch and know how to move your arms for optimal results. You can't really do it wrong, but you can do it better sometimes. 
And then you can engage in guided visualization. And for my clients, I always help them find something that they relax and positive image, images and how to actually create new associations with food. Uh, some people don't like certain foods and you can train the brain to love the foods that love you back, as Dr. Amen says so uh, nicely. So it's important visualization. I'm a big fan and you can make them much more effective if you add havening techniques to them. Uh, then, of course, like everything in life that you learn, it's important to repeat and practice. Although havening technique sometimes removes traumatic stress and memories within an hour or less, uh, if you want to remove a long-standing habit, it takes practice. But you can do it. Never give up. Now, of course, there's additional strategies that you can add to support your emotional eating recovery journey. And here's uh, four additional strategies to support an emotional eating recovery. Mindful eating. I teach that too. I find it very important to focus on what you eat and enjoy every bite. And if you choose to have a chocolate bar or donut or something that you feel is maybe not that helpful to you, hey, Enjoy it, at least enjoy it to the most of your abilities because there's nothing worse than eating a whole chocolate bar in a flash and then afterwards feeling guilty about it. That's not the purpose of it. That doesn't help anything. Then it's important to gain emotional awareness. And uh, sometimes you need a little bit help by a highly trained practitioner like myself or a very good coach or uh, a psychologist that's uh, familiar with those uh, techniques and the methods to help you gain that emotional awareness and develop alternative coping mechanisms. Then you can explore exercise, journaling, meditation, or engage more in hobbies that bring you joy. And find activities that help you to manage stress and emotions without relying on food. And then you seek support. We all need help. One of my favorite coaches, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Marshall Goldsmith. Yes, he's very famous. He coached leaders. He said, we all need help. And he's right. As humans, we need other humans sometimes. Sometimes we need other humans to help us. And sometimes we need to be there for other humans that need us. So consider seeking support from a qualified certified havening techniques practitioner like myself. Or their support group specializing in emotional eating like our six-week fusion method holistic weight loss groups that are starting soon. And those all can provide guidance, accountability, and a safe space so you can explore your emotions and develop healthier coping strategies. Because overcoming emotional eating and lasting weight loss is a journey, and it does take time and effort. But when you're patient with yourself, you learn to celebrate every little achievement and small victory and see support to celebrate together you will be victorious. Now, I talk about a few success stories. Yeah, of course, it, it does help. There's other resources like the websites. I also run the uh, Soulful Leaders Academy. I put the links underneath, uh, or you can just uh, send me a private message and said, hey, you talked about the Soulful Leaders Academy. What is it? Anybody can join that wants to uh, be more soulful, focused, and uh, learn how to lead their own life, maybe lead others, maybe lead a business. Uh, we have a lot of resources and discussions that are very insightful, let's put it that way. And there's teaching resources, and I like to teach my upcoming uh, life coach program uh, and uh, life and health coaching program. I'll probably teach parts of them within the Soulful Leaders Academy and for those who want more and get certified, they are said also available. So havening yeah. techniques in summary can help you to overcome emotional eating. Uh, I've done it, so I know it works, but I've done it for clients and I know it works. If you don't know if it works yet for you, book a free call with me and see uh, if that is a method that you want to explore further. That said, have a wonderful rest of the day and I hope you enjoyed that little video and gained some insights. Let me know what you thought. 
just uh, comment below. And I hope to talk to you again next week when we are talking about a different topic related to soulful living and soulful weight loss. Take care. Bye-bye. When you combine modern science, ancient wisdom, nature experience and love, magic happens. I'm Dr. Christine Sauer, physician, naturopath, coach, human. It feels like magic to my clients when their lives are transformed through the skills combination of natural and human sciences, ancient philosophies and caring human-to-human -human interaction. Discover this kind of modern wizardry and let's prepare powerful healing potions together. Come and enter our wonderful world of wellness.